Hi there YouTubers I thought why well, I'm on the sick uh, I'll do a video of my fish tank uh, as you can see how I'm off fill <laughs> I've got some crutches <laughs> I can't walk so I'm stuck at home so I thought I'll do a video uh, it's been over a week now with the MP10 and uh, there's slow changes, but and the, and the for the better. The rocks are looking cleaner, if you could understand. There's no like debris or anything on them. They look clean. Uh, the corals aren't affected by it. In fact, they're doing okay. Uh, they should do. In fact, they should be doing better, but they're not doing worse, so that's a good thing. Uh, I've moved the sea rod. I'm zooming on it. Look, she's there now. I keep trying to jam it in the live rock somewhere, but either a hermit or one of the large fish disrupts it. it keeps moving it. So I thought I'll shove it there and for the last few days it's it's stayed there, nothing's touched it. All the little white polyps still come out on it, so it doesn't mind being there, so for now that's its new spot and hope it likes it. Behind the green polyps. Zoom back a bit. Great cameras aren't they and they won't focus when you want them to focus. Well there's green polyps. They feed very well. Close up every day when I put some freeze dried brine shrimp and they catch it. Same with the yellow polyps, like I said. That end is more densely populated. This bottom end isn't. So that's why I swapped it around so I could get a bit more dense population on that end of the rock and fill the rock up a bit more with it there are new polyps showing there's new growth I doubt I can zoom in any closer but there are new buds appearing so that's a good thing that's doing well the Medusa, the single one I've got left, is doing fine. No, no signs of dying, which is good. Uh, which I've got used to things dying, but that's not dying. I'd love it to be like the one I used to have, that was massive. But that will take time, I suppose. It needs to get used to things and stuff. But it's doing fine. It's still with me. Single patch of uh, Bulsinzania. And my toadstool. When I got that, it was like a perfect disc shape, but the edges have gone irregular over the over the year or so, as if it's like tearing itself. So the edges are, are a perfect disc now. It's got irregular edging. Uh, if anyone knows why or what, let me know. I did like it when it was a perfect disc, but it's still alive. <laughs> Polyps are fully extended. It just seems to like turn itself around the edges. Don't know. <laughs> the big colony of Pulsinzania. Eventually when I get more corals I can uh, sell, sell or trade some of the rock with Pulsing Zania on. Because it's, I've got Pulsing Zania over about four or five different rocks now. So I can sell them rocks on. 
purple Kenya tree. Oh, I can remember. Oh, it must be a year back. I saw. I was having problems with this. It was shrinking, and it didn't look like it was doing well. And now, over the last, oh, over six months, it's it's it turned around and it's grown. The colour's great. The polyps are always fully extended. I think it must have just been flow. It likes water flow. So that's doing really good. Over to the turbinara. Coloration's really good. It seems to like it over in that spot, so I won't shift it from there. I'll leave it in that one spot. So just like to see it grow. The local fish store had another one in it and it was a kind of a purple colour. So if I don't have much luck with a Montipora cap, I might get another one of those but in the purple. There's my plate, which I think is colonising other rocks now. I've got two on this piece here. The big one and the baby one underneath. And that's always got its little polyps extended out. Just about to see them. I'll just swing over to the other side of the rock where I think I've got another one. Which seems to be the just under the yellow polyps I think I've got one growing in roughly where the centre of the screen is there I think there's one growing there uh, back over to this side the green mushrooms lovely mushroom lovely green colonising well since I've got the piece of rock with it on which costs next to nothing, about ten pound. I've got it onto uh, two pieces of rock now of my own. I've got it on that piece there. There's two pieces there. Two mushrooms. And I've got a big mushroom there on that piece of rock there. And that's the original cluster there. So I am contemplating getting a red mushroom. Uh, I don't know whether to keep it the same side of the tank with the zoas and mushrooms together or put put it in this gap here and I've made mushrooms there the toad mushroom mushroom frog spawn that's doing really well I uh, did notice when it closed up the skeletal has grown so you c I can see it's even more densely put denser now so when that fully opens up that will be impressive at the moment it's not opening up fully but you can see it's very dense and the skeletal has grown so that's doing really really well the clones attempting to try and host it so I'm not mind I'm not bothered about that because I don't have an enemy so if they want to host it when it gets bigger it's fine by me Green's nice and green. See, there's a female now hovering round it. She's way too big for getting there. When it's fully open, the male will probably have a chance, but the female's no chance. A little zoo garden. I love that piece. It's like a little ball. It's green round the outside and a, a red inner them are really nice as with them ones they're more of a neon-y kind of green and they're quite impressive and I've got this big rock of uh, zoas uh, it's nice but not as impressive as the two little frags there was mixture in there, there's some with red centres, some with yellow centres but I do like my little frags of Zoas, especially that one and that one so that's my Zoa garden started my ideas of what to get next I'd like to try another torch as well and shove it 
in this corner have a torch there uh, when the plate gets bigger I'll have that down here somewhere in this space here is having either red mushrooms or a Montipora cap but as the, for the system the pumps, the filters everything's running fine I'm not having a problem, I did the bot parameters a week ago and everything is bang on I'm not having any problems with the water parameters Oh, I did see in my local fish store a dwarf hawkfish I mentioned it months back about thinking about one and I like the character of them it was £16 and then they had two in a smaller one and a larger one I think I'd go for the smaller one and see how it went on it's about the same size as the female clown I want something in there with a bit of character but I'm not so sure if I heard something about them and uh, like crustaceans whether they don't like crustaceans so whether it, the cleaner shrimp and the hermit crabs are safe with it I don't know if someone could let me know about that as well so that's an update for now it'd probably be a week or two before I do another update but yeah things are going well catch you later